The United States technically lost the space race. Let me explain. The space race was basically a cosmic brain measuring contest between the United States and the Soviet Russia during the Cold War. It all kicked off in 1957 when the Soviets launched the first ever satellite called Sputnik. Then, just a few years later, Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut, became the first human in space to orbit the Earth. Then, the US had to raise the stakes by JFK committing before Congress and the entire world to land people on the moon and bring them back safely before the decade of the 60s was over. He was basically saying, you commie rascals may have beat us to space, but the last one to the moon's a rotten egg. Enter NASA and the Apollo program, which became America's number one science project. The race was on. The Soviets were knocking out some pretty impressive feats like the first ever multi-crewed space mission and the first ever spacewalk. Meanwhile, the US Apollo 1 through 10 was some serious trial and error. Then finally, in 1969, the US dropped the mic with the Apollo 11 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. And Armstrong took that one small step for man. The US planted its flag on the lunar surface did some sciencey stuff, took some iconic pictures, and the race to the moon was over. We may not have technically been the first to space, but we definitely stuck that lunar landing. Or, you know, the whole thing could have been shot in a secret Hollywood studio somewhere directed by Stanley Kubrick. I don't know. I wasn't there. Follow along for more.